Hey guys, this is Val from Val K Inc. and today we are going to talk about something that I bought last year but haven't had a chance to talk about. This is an authentic old pack of Galaxy Express 3.9 trading cards. Yes, these are cards from, I believe these came out in 1979 just after the series aired. And this is clearly a well-loved, very old antique pack. Um, someone had clearly taken an original booster pack and these really old card sleeves and kept some of the original cards. So I really, really want to talk about this today. This is just one of my favorite items I've been able to collect and it's just very strange and I just want to talk about it. So as you can see, there's an old authentic Toei sticker on top and we have a price here probably from a toy shop or an antique shop of 3,600 yen. I bought this for super cheap. The story behind this piece is I saw it on eBay and it was like $60 originally and for some reason I could not leave this alone. I kept thinking about it and I watched it for months and months and months and the price just slowly, slowly, slowly kept going down. And then eventually it was only $15 and I decided to pick it up and have a piece of my favorite anime um, and it merch from its actual time, you know, some 70s goodness. So here is what the pack itself looks like. Somebody obviously made it and tied actual twine to keep it together. So it's just a fascinating little collection piece and I just want to go through the cards. There are a lot of repeats. Someone clearly uh, just kept every card they ever had when they were collecting this back in the day. So let's get a zoomed in shot and look at these. All right guys, so sorry about the lighting in here but I'm gonna try to make these as clear as possible. So these cards themselves are actually screenshots from the show. So these are actually from episodes and they're really interesting. In fact, when you pop one, one of them came out of uh, the sleeves when it was shipped to me. You can see that it's actually a really flimsy paper and they didn't even round the edges on some of the cards back then. Um, these weren't considered big collectible items. They were considered like novelties for kids. Um, and I don't know specifics about this card set in particular, but you can see things like on the edges, <laughs> they weren't clean cut, so you can see the beginning of another card from the print roll. Um, you can see that it has a, a slight matte uh, coating on top, but I really do love these. It's not every day that you find classic anime goods from their era, so I <laughs> really, really am excited. Um, so that was that scene. I love the painted backgrounds. They had beautiful hand-painted backgrounds in this series like they did in all of the older ones. Here is the whole troupe. There's Meitel, the conductor, and Tetsuo. The conductor is one of my absolute favorite anime characters. He's just a big sweetheart that is nervous all the time. So we have that image. You can also see kind of how off-model some of these characters go. <laughs> it's really funny. Here's another bad uh, misprint edge here. I actually remember this episode. It's so funny to look at these. I really, really do love them. Uh, they were on an ice planet. Why does this sled need horses? I think, I think it was broken or something. I can't remember. <laughs> it's just really fun to see these. Oh, there's sweet baby Tetsuo. There's Tetsuo with his gun. He always had to shoot things. Poor baby. I think this was from the planet of, um, pets, where there was all these passed away pets. So yeah, Tetsuo always had these really weird moral decisions in the episodes, and that's partly why I really love the series. He's such a little gremlin, I really like him. Oh, I love this card. So this is the engine room of the 3.9 itself, and what I love about this card is that it features um, something that's very important in animation and that's the colorist's role. There's always directors and animators and character creators and, you know, touch-up uh, animators and things like that, but there's always a colorist on staff who has to decide what colors will look like in a scene dependent on mood, dependent on lighting, uh, dependent on various factors, and since they're in an engine room with a lot of orange and red lighting, they had to recolor the characters in that type of lighting, so... In digital animation, you can literally just hit a toggle on like Photoshop or something and get, you know, different color variants. But colorists are really good at picking colors out for a scene, 
without that kind of photo manipulation. So this is definitely a really cool card just because it illustrates that. And it, it doesn't make sense, but even in yellow lighting, the conductor's eyes turned white. They would remain yellow, generally. But yeah, I love, I love seeing little animation things like that, especially in older uh, animation. Here's the 3-9 itself. It's just a big train going through space. Is that the only card of that? Was that one rare? But yeah, that's the other thing. These aren't exactly, like, rare. <laughs> um... These aren't cards with rarities. They were sort of like, well, you, you got this one, I guess. Uh, another great uh, episode was with the Space Pirate. God, look at the conductor. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I love stuff like that. So, Tetsuo learns a lot of life, life lessons from some very unsavory characters. Oh, man, here's the uh, Train of the Dead with all the dead people on it. Look, look, he's just like, oh, damn it. This again. But yeah, sometimes there's a train in space that has gone through a catastrophe and it, there's, it's just not worth it to collect the bodies that are dead on it. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff you encounter in a lot of um, older series. But yeah, I really, really love, love these cards. Another one from that episode, the uh, base pirate. Um, I am very torn about something regarding these cards. And you can tell that these cards are virtually brand new. Like, these card sleeves, despite, you know, how old they are, they've done an excellent job keeping these brand new. And I don't know if in my heart I want to take them out of these sleeves or leave this whole collection intact as is. I'm very torn as a collector about what to do, and I don't know. So, my fellow card collectors, please tell me in the comments what you think I should do with this. Should I take them out and preserve them differently? Should I keep it all like an authentic little collection from the time? I just don't know. I love these space shots. I loved whenever they were going around different types of planets. Oh yeah, Tetsuo meeting another friend. Hello! I think this was a guy that just wanted a friend, but he had a big scary skele face. I don't know. I, lo I love the weird characters in this show. <laughs> Leji Matsumoto worlds are just fascinating. They really are. Here is another train. You'd always see other trains in the universe, and then you'd be able to see those trains in other series later, like the Interstellar 3-5. And here's the 3-4. I like the way this train looked. I've always liked the blue with the yellow highlights. I don't know. It's a cool looking train. It was usually just another passenger train, sometimes security trains. And some of these um, card sleeves like warped in a weird way. I think it's just from the moisture. But you can tell the card itself is really solid in there. So yeah, this is just a weird little set that took a long time to acquire, but it's just great. It's probably one of my oldest items in my collection. I have a few anime cells that are a little bit older than this, but this one is um, definitely one of the older like card sets that I own. Why? Why? <laughs> Why does he have that? What are you doing? And yeah, this is pretty much the show. You just, these three characters would just run into trouble all the time, nonstop. There is a general larger plot, but I don't feel like going into that right now with these cards. Ooh, some of these are sticky. Tetsuo and Maytel. I, I don't even, I can't even begin to uh, recall that episode. There's so many shots of them just running <laughs> and being in trouble. But yeah, so that's pretty much all of these. I love whenever there was like debris in space. That's a great shot. That's always what it looked like when they looked out of the uh, windows of the 3-9. So just a weird little item. It's gonna go with my figures and my other 3-9 stuff that I collect. Um, here's my tell just heading off the train. I love this because uh, you can see a tiny uh, Tetsuo and conductor. Just <laughs> like, where the hell is she going? She probably needs to get back on the train. That was a big theme. Like, they never uh, got back on the train in time. They always barely made it. So I think that's the last one. There might be one more card in here. Yeah. This was the Planet of Dead Leaves, I think. And the tracks were just covered and they got stuck. So just fascinating, weird little thing. I actually like that I have so many multiples. Again, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this, what you guys think I should do 
with the whole pack itself. Um, I don't know if I want to keep it like this or pull some of the cards out. I don't know, I just want to keep them in the best way possible and I'm still making decisions about that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. They're just a standard card size. I just thought this would be fun to talk about. Anyway, I hope that was interesting for you guys. I love this thing. I'm gonna go put it back in its sealed bag because that's where I keep it. Anyway guys, hi to all my subscribers. You guys rock. And I hope you enjoyed this little uh, just viewing, I guess. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys.